in this video we'll see how we can add custom font into our shopify theme it could be dawn theme or any other theme that you are using so you know that somehow there is a limitation of the fonts you can get free google fonts but if you are a, using a custom font for your design you want to use it then there is no option available inside the theme we have to add it with some custom code so in this video i'll show you step by step and easy to follow how you can add that so there will be a blog link in the description where every steps has been described easily so first of all come to your online store click on themes online store and then themes and first of the things we need to do is for your safety you have to click this three dot and have a duplicate version of your theme so if anything goes wrong with your live store then you can just refer back to that uh, backup theme okay so i will not do that uh, for now so then we need to download and add the font files to our store so you have to download the whatever um, font you have for your store just download it from any website or if you have the font files and then go to the content folder and then go to the files folder after that click on upload file and upload all the all those font files into your store which will support otf ttf format okay so i have some custom font into my folder which is noxima font so i'll upload the noxima bold this otf version of the noxima bold you can upload single or double anything you want click on open and then it will be uploaded as a uh, this file will be uploaded into our content and file folder okay and you will see it has been uploaded so you can see this is now it is uploaded then we need to do what we need to do is to adding the font uh, to our theme file okay to make that happens we need to click on online store again and then we need to go to our theme and click on edit code okay and that's the reason we need to have a backup version so if anything goes wrong with your code you can just republish your backup theme so click on three dot click on edit code and after that go to sections and click on add new section all the things has been given here and give it a name of the section so click on this add new section and give it a name i give it jahin custom fonts click on done and after that you can find there is a document given click uh, copy all the code from the document so i'll click on that document and then we need to just click on control a control c okay control a control c come here and then control a control v paste all the code here and click on save and then go back to the uh, blog again and we need to click on save i already click on save and then now open the theme file name theme.liquid okay where is the theme.liquid you can go to layout and you will file theme.liquid and then we need to search for body tag and paste the following code after the body tag where is the body tag if you scroll down or even press ctrl f or you can scroll down a bit you will find a tag with a body as you can see this is the tag body class gradient you will find it after the head tag so where the body has been opened and here is end so click enter and paste that section jahin custom fonts what we have created click on save and then what is happening here we need to click on the customize and we will find the font here so we'll click on this three dot we'll click on customize and we'll find that there is an option available right now to add the custom font into our shopify store so let's see it so you can see here is the uh, custom font i can just drop down it as you can see it is enabled i can drop down it and now i can add the font so i'll click on add font and then click this uh, option called font and then we can give this font name so my font name is noxima bold so give your name according to your font name then there is the custom font url go to the content and files and whatever font you have uploaded copy this link from here and then paste it in the custom font url and after that you will find all my font will be changed to noxima bold as you can see currently all the font is noxima bold but you can customize it so for example you wanted the noxima font for all the heading elements you don't want it for paragraph you can just disable it for paragraph and span text so you need to have some sorts of little bit of coding knowledge if you understand what is span tag and what 
what is not so you can see now the heading will be noxima bold but the span text or buttons will not be noxima bold and whatever typography you are using here you can see uh, you can body for body font we have assistant and these are the fonts coming from here and noxima bold will be applied for the heading so if we chose any other font for those now you can see it will be changed to that particular font okay to that particular font but you can add a different font by clicking the add font and add that file here and then apply those only for p and span tags you can go deep down with it with css selector but if you don't have any knowledge about coding or anything then just try to contact an expert like me so if you want to uh, put a specific font for buttons for a headline or anything else then it will work properly okay this how you can add multiple fonts for specific sections for heading for button for paragraph for card page collection page and each and everything you can just you can just uh, just uh, target those specifically with css selectors which you need some coding knowledge to make that happen so if i enable each and every option now all of them will be turned into the noxima bold font that i have uploaded from the uh, uh, from the menu to the product area each and everything okay so this is the thing and this how we can add the custom font into our shopify store and make the customization very easily with this step by step guide and if you for some reason don't want to use it you can go to that and you can click on it and you can just disable it and if you disable it now you can see custom font is not working anymore the font is coming from the theme setting typography and whatever font you will get for heading here it will take as a design into our store you can see it will be reflected into our store whatever font will be chosen here um, if i click select now it will be this font and if i select another font for body and paragraph this will be selected from my shopify theme not from the custom font so for custom font you need to just make it enable and then call that particular font call that particular font add that particular font add the url and the font will be applied for whatever tag we have applied it could be h1 h2 h3 h4 paragraph span text and for any specific button so i hope that helps so thank you very much for your time